Welcome back or welcome to Travis the Sports Show. If you are new, please subscribe to the show, smash the like button, and also please subscribe to Baseball Generation. I uh, post some cool baseball content, so I'll link him down below in the description box. Subscribe to him. Now, here's tonight's post game. How about them Yankees? Let's go! Three wins in a row now. Yankees win 3-1 to one over the Rays. Down and drop today. Take game one and three game series. Huge, huge win tonight. Let's go. Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez flexing their muscles, hitting home runs today. Jordan Montgomery dominating, going six strong innings, only allowing two hits, one run, one walk, striking out nine guys, tying his career high. Johnny Lasagna, Johnny Luasca pitching two strong innings, and then Araldis Chapman coming in there for the save. Uh, awesome job, his eighth save of the year. Let's go, Yankees win. Big, big, big win tonight. Now, a lot of pregame notes. Gio Urshela coming back after missing a couple games, back in the lineup hitting cleanup tonight. And then Luke Voigt, like I said before, returning to the lineup tonight. Uh, last year's uh, 2020 home run champion, 22 homers, hitting 277, returned to the lineup tonight, hitting fifth and batting, hitting fifth and playing first base. Great having him back in the lineup. Now look, it was all hyped up, right? Big series. Luke Voigt back, or Shella back. Great lineup tonight. But then we all some weird news happened. We didn't know if we we're gonna fight this game. Uh, Yankees. Started rumbling out the news. They had five guys. That's positive coaching, but it ended up being one guy prior to the game. Phil Nevin, Yankees third base coach, tested positive for coronavirus. He was fully vaccinated with Johnson Johnson shot. Uh, had it a little, little bit ago, but he still tested positive. The um, testing went on, and uh, talked about later after this, at the end of the video, about some other guys. The news broke out later after the game about other guys testing positive. We'll get that later though, but yeah, Phil Nevin. That's positive. Uh, did not coach the scheme, obviously, in quarantine protocols, everything. But everybody's still vaccinated on the Yankees. We were able to play this game, and I'm glad we did. A great, great win. Let's get into it. Uh, look, the scoring summary. Um, first inning. First inning. Let's go. Aaron Judge goes deep, dead center field. Let's go, baby. Come on. His eighth home run of the year. Aaron Judge would have been in a big, big slump, right? Just was he 0 for 20 before that blue pit the other day? Just striking out a lot. Just not over trying, trying to do too much of the plate. Finally, squares the ball nicely. Dead center field. Stays on it. Let's go. Great start to this game. Great start to the series. Top of third inning. Yanks get back on the board. Make a two zip on a wild pitch. Uh, it's a great job there. Uh, and then um, look. The Rays come back. Bottom of the third inning. Uh, Zanino, it's a bomb. Off Montgomery. Left center field. Make it a two to one game. Look at happen. They got a lot of, good, a lot of guys give homers, and uh, Herman obviously the other day. Montgomery uh, today, he gives up homers here and there, but he's, he was great. That was the one blemish of his start, and the score stayed 2-1 uh, to one until the seventh inning when Gary Sanchez goes yard, right field, stays on, hits the other way for his, uh, what was it, his um, fourth run of the year. Now, Yankees with Higashioka and Gary Sanchez combined have now tied the Major League lead in home runs at the catcher, catcher position. That's good stuff there, showing showing the power from the from the catching position there, and then look, that was yeah, it's all scoring. Yanks win it three to one. Uh, let's get into it. I mean, look, I see uh, Aaron Judge, great great job hitting that ball, the home run. Uh, um, we like said Gary Sanchez, great um, home run there in the seventh inning, awesome job there. But I want to mention ninth inning. Kevin comes in there, first guy reaches. Um, Torres boots that ball, the liner can't feel it right. But then what a play. What a play. It's 2-0 count. And the 1-0 pitch, way wide. Wild pitch from Chapman, right? A little wild, little wild, wild, wild with, with his control. So it starts the ninth inning. But the ball gets great ricochet. Bounces right back to Gary Sanchez. And he throws a dart. A dart right to Tyler Wade. And Tyler Wade with a great tag. Catches it. Tags him right away. And Yankees get him at second base. That was huge. Huge. Because Chapman walked the next guy. Like I said, a little control issue. Then comes back. Gets the next two guys. Yanks win. Chapman gets a save. Has now thrown 14 innings this season. No earned runs. Only allowed four hits while striking out 30 batters. Unbelievable stuff for Ronis Chapman. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff there. Uh, like I said, uh, another guy, Clint Frazier. Look at that. Uh, it was in the eighth inning, I think it was. Uh, rocket, rocket double to... Um, to uh, Dead center field off the wall. That's what you want. He, obviously, look, he averaged still 149, one, one for three today with a walk. But you know what? It's, it'll come. A great line drive today. 
He's been having some better at bats, hitting line drives, getting, getting caught. He's putting ball, more balls in play, which is good. And I uh, just got to keep running out there. Look, it's it's tough. Hitting a buck fifty is terrible. I mean, terrible. We need much, much more. Uh, we've been talking about before. Came into the season, starting left fielder, and he's been just terrible at the plate, uh, no matter what it is. But you see, as a couple last couple of weeks, been getting some better at bats, more line drives, less strikeouts, put more balls in play. And tonight, great sign, pounding that ball dead center field off the base of the wall for a double. Good stuff there. Uh, look, um, Luke Voigt to return. Uh, 0 for 3 at the plate with the strikeout. But look, I want to see mention that first inning. First inning, Gleyber Torres throws it. And Luke Voigt fully stretched out, like a, doing a split over there to make sure it gets the out. And that's what you want to see. I mean, hopefully, I think it doesn't get hurt there. A stretch looked like kind of tough to see, but it's a great stretch of first base there. Then also, uh, later in the game, Luke Voigt gets hit in the hand. You don't never want to see that. He looked pissed. I'm pissed. Obviously, uh, the pitcher, 21, 21-year-old Patino, obviously not trying to hit Voigt there. He's unfortunate. Voigt, Voigt obviously just came off the IL, does not want to go back on, on the IL. Yanks raised history of hitting guys the last couple of years. Obviously, you know we're intention there. Just tough to see him get hit. But Luke Voigt, one tough uh, mother, mother effort. Stays in the game, battles it out. Good stuff there from Voigt. Just great having him back in the lineup. Look, 0 for 3. Yeah, but... um. He'll come around, obviously. We'll give him a couple weeks, give him this week and everything, get his feet under him at the plate. I mean, look, I almost forgot. He put the ball in his last at bat, the right field, very edge of the wall, nearly hit a home run. So good stuff there, going the other way too. Good stuff from Luke Voigt. Uh, Tyler Wade comes in there for defense as maybe goes to first base, late innings. Like I said, Wade, great tag there. On Gary Sanchez, uh, third down second base in the ninth inning. And that's, yeah, I mean, overall solid. Gardner 0 for 3 to play today. Santorez was 0 for 0 for 4, three strikeouts. Tough night at him. Tough night at the uh, plate. Makes some good plays in the field though. Obviously the last inning, tough play there gets the error, but overall good stuff for the plate. And Torres have been hitting the ball pretty well. Rough night there, but a bats back. Stanton goes one for three. Back uh, hitting 293 now. Mayu one for four to play. Arshell one for four. Uh, Sanchez obviously one for four. Uh, Frazier had to hit. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, Yanks has seven hits, three runs. Uh, just the main thing is the pitching. I want to mention the pitching again. Montgomery, awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome. Nine strikeouts. Time to high again. Mowing guys down. Just pitching great. I mean, just the whole pitching staff. I think it's like 21 now games. I, I said this that. So it's uh, April 18th. Yankee Stars have best ERA in the American League. 2.74. That's second in the major whole major leagues. Behind the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, who have a 2.46 ERA. And just awesome. I mentioned coming into the series, the pitching has been so, so good. Starting pitching and the bullpen. They had two blemishes last week, but right back at it today. Last, last over the weekend, Lewaska, the two strong innings. Chapman to save. He said, we had Mike Harkey out there with uh, Nomad Blake uh, come out to the mound talking to Lewaska. Then you see him in a dugout getting on him. It's cool stuff. Matt Blake doesn't really. Showed him much passion, obviously. Matt Harkey, much bigger dude, fiery. I could talk, talk it up with Lewaska out there. And it's just, it's just awesome seeing this pitching staff, the whole staff from the starting staff to the bullpen, how dominant lights out they are so far this season is awesome. Because Yankees, look, are hitting still, not take, not tearing cover to the ball. Uh, seven hits today, three runs. We haven't really had a lot, bunch of games where we put a lot of runs on the board, but. The way the staff is throwing the baseball, you don't have to. But with the Yankees offense, it will come around. They will start putting up six, seven, eight runs a few times a week consistently. And until then, I mean, we're getting wins. Now, 19 and 16 on the season, right? Three games in a row. Three wins in a row, right? Let's go. Big series uh, opening win versus the Rays. Now in uh, sole possession of second place in the American League East. Red Sox have lost two in a row. Get close to them, guys. It's good, good stuff. And I'm excited. Uh, we got Urshela back. We had Voight back. Uh, obviously, Hick was scratching the lineup today after he found a ball off his shin over the weekend. But uh, we got our lineup pretty much full intact. We got Frazier having a nice double today. Hopefully, he breaks out of that. And let's go. I'm excited for this rest of this. Uh, I mean, as the season keeps going on, long, everything. Um, like I said, 19 and 16, playing good ball. It's a big, big win. Start series down in Tampa. Let's go. Tomorrow night, Garrett Cole in the mountain game two. But hopefully we play tomorrow. Because look, after the game, uh, 
Baron Boone announced that um, first base coach Reggie Willits also, also tested positive coronavirus, as well as another staff member. So not good there. Uh, I don't want more guys to test positive. It's a weird situation with guys all pretty much vaccinated. But I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert, not a doctor. Uh, people can, just, can still test positive after um, being vaccinated. That's what happened here with my, I guess, uh, um, Phil Nevin, Wilts, everybody. Hopefully everybody stays safe. Hopefully all those guys feel fine. Nothing happens to them. Hopefully all them guys, Nevin, Wilts, the other guy, can be, get back to coaching the Yanks soon. But until then, wish them guys well. And let's go Yanks. Let's build on this win today. Let's get four in a row tomorrow. Garrett Cole, R8, on the mound tomorrow in game two in a three-game set. Down in Tampa, the Yankees go for three, I mean for four wins in a row and try to win the series tomorrow. Let's go Yankees. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, Comment, subscribe to the show, and go Yankees!